YouTubers hate us for this gaming PC because it's only 300 bucks. You can build this gaming PC yourself for $300 very easily. But before we dive into this guide, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Are you tired of your unactivated Windows install on your gaming PC? Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall, has you covered. GVG Mall is an online marketplace to gain access to really awesome discounted game keys and more specifically, as we mentioned, Windows 10 licenses. It is incredibly easy to get your Windows 10 or 11 activation key from GVG Mall. Just use code TB20 to get a special discount, and then all you have to do is take that code, put it into Windows, and boom, you have an activated Windows copy. We have been working with GUG Mall for several years now, and we love the reliability of all the products they have to offer, so be sure to check the link in the description down below. Use code TB20 to save on your next purchase of a Windows key or other product from GVG Mall. Tell the people why consoles hate us. Tell them, tell them right now, tell them. The reasons why console hate us, I mean, cheapest console you can really get that's latest gen would be the Switch, which is what, usually over 300 bucks? The Xbox Series S right at 300. And then all the other ones, I mean, they're way more than this PC right here. You're gonna be able to play almost all the games that are exclusives nowadays even, because let's be real, they all come out on PC, whether it's before or after the console. And this thing is just so easy because there's actually a special website. We were buying these off eBay and then the seller actually reached out to us and said, hey, you guys wanna work with us? We said, sure, what can you do? So we have a special discount code toasty5 where you can get five percent off pretty much anything on their website and we decided to go with this guy right here so this is another one of those lenovo workstations this one's a little bit different because the xeon's a little bit lower end because we want to save some money it is the 2123 i hope i got that right four core eight thread and it comes with this nice little tower cooler and then it just has 16 gigs of ram which as you can see we all have on this side but it does have eight ram slots in total which is pretty insane so yeah you can actually do some quad chain on this we do have a video on the channel by the way where we actually completely maxed one of these out using insane graphics card. We also have another video with one of these where we put in like a 5700. So yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with these and we have found great success. There's a lot of really cool, just modular parts about these that are kind of proprietary, but they're cool nonetheless. So we are gonna have to add some storage, which we do have over here. We are gonna add a graphics card because I don't even think this thing has any good graphics out and we want it to actually be able to play games, right? I don't think the order matters too much in all honesty because this thing has so much room in it. If this was one of the like optiplexes that we're always working on, then it probably wouldn't work. So basically this lane was already missing. I'm taking out these two lanes here because I'm lining up the card will be here and then it's gonna be a two lane card. So we'll take up those two there. 1660 Super that we got some milk on it. I don't really know what that is. We bought it off eBay. The good news though is if you buy something like this off eBay, guys, just get a, re a refund if it doesn't work. Um, just make sure you do it within 30 days. Make sure the seller is cool with it too. I, I got faith in this card. You know, I think it, it might have a little milk on the back, but I don't really think that matters. Another thing I like about this card is the fact that it only uses one eight pin. And one of the things that I really love about these freaking Lenovo's, and you don't see this in other pre-builds guys, it actually comes with two six plus two pins, basically two six pins or two eight pins or a combination of the both. But just look how freaking unique that is, like how they're just clipped on there. And the fact that it comes with them, they do plug into the board with kind of a proprietary extension. Yeah. All right, so we have our eight pin power in, the graphics card is in, secure, and that's literally it. Matt's gonna go ahead and put in the SSD. All right, put in that SSD. <laughs> <laughs> Stop buying hard drives. Buy one of these instead. What we're gonna do is go ahead and open up the box. Get rid of the box, because you don't need the box. And as you can see, we have this crucial drive, the BX500, one terabyte SSD, plenty of storage. So they pop up like this. Pull out, <laughs> pull out. Yeah, there look at go. that. So now they got everything there. See, it just shrunk it. He's right here, needs to move up because it will not line up with the hole. So yeah. this will fit right in. These little, little nubs right here, they go inside the little nubs right here. That would be for screws normally, but you know what? Little nubs. Inside that in there. Oh my goodness, look at that. That thing ain't going anywhere. Look at that. Like so. And this right here is the SATA data cable, and this is the SATA power cable. And we're gonna go ahead and plug in the data cable, like so. Boom. And then the power, do a little loop de loop and pull, and your shoes are looking cool. Just so you guys can see that a little bit better. Power's plugged in there, and the data cable is plugged in there. Now that we're all set up and good to go here, you just need to install Windows. And this is a good time to plug our other channel for the PC Selling Business PC Bros, where we have tutorials on how to install Windows and a bunch of other cool stuff. So go subscribe to that channel if you haven't done so already. But yeah, we're gonna install Windows, we're gonna install some games, and we're gonna see how does this four core eight thread Xeon fare with the 1660 Super in modern titles? Should you build one yourself? Well, we're about to find out. All right, guys, we're trying out Battlefield 2042. And man, we had to really tweak some settings. I'm gonna show these to you guys, and you're gonna be like, whoa, that's, that's low settings. So we're at 1920 by 1080, uh, max FOV, and then 
we basically have it set to auto, which just put everything on low, and we lowered it down <laughs> to 25% render scale, NVIDIA reflex latency on, uh, future frame rendering off. So. I think this is one of the situations that it, we're really CPU bottlenecked right yeah. now. The four core eight thread is not happy in this game. So this is uh, this is the first time I've seen a game like this that would like really eat up a four core eight thread CPU. But yeah, we added this to the rotation just to mix things up a little bit. PC might not be ideal for it, but it's it's okay yeah. at the moment. Yeah, I, I, was, I said it kind of looks like kind of looks like Roblox. It's yeah, Roblox now. Kind of funny. This is the 128 player mode as well. And I yeah, can see it's really quest. causing some issues. That's so apparently cool. people are playing this game more now because the new season's better, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, we, we played Battlefield games before. Haven't really played some of like the newer era ones recently. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a different vibe. I don't I don't think I like modern SK. I really like the like World War II and one and stuff, but you know what? We're, gi we're giving it a go, guys. Oh, <laughs> found him. It's crazy how much sound is going. Like, there's so many gunshots and explosions, it is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh-oh, they're in here. Ooh, oh. got him. What is happening? Whoa, is whoa! What is going on? <laughs> Guys, look at my gun. It's sick. Yeah, let's go. Little duty head. Oh, uh -oh. I got a hit marker. That. Oh yeah, sensitivity is good now, you baby. You shot baloney. Oh, Dude, oh, I'm you. oh, sensitivity. Oh. 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 oh, oh, that's a one tap. Oh, 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 oh like <laughs> the guy was flying. The cow was just slow that down. What? Why? That guy was just waiting to get shot. The sound is really satisfying when you touch it. Like, oh, he's looking at me. Oh, is it ballsy? Here we go. We're oh. Going. oh. But yeah, that was a good run. That was Battlefield 2042. Runs okay. Very went, low settings. Yeah, very <laughs> low settings. Runs okay. Let's play a game that will probably run really well. Fortnite. Yeah. All right, guys. We have graduated from preschool, aka Team Rumble. We are in the main Fortnite game. You know, I took a, a break from it because I was just getting destroyed, and I'm ready to get destroyed again. I am noticing with this system, the 2123 like four core eight thread Xeon is a decent amount worse than that six core twelve thread. Um, I, I probably would pay a little bit more money, especially if you have the budget for it. It's been like $330, $340, because that CPU did hold its own a lot better. Still a playable experience, uh, but we are dealing with much more stuttering games like Fortnite and stuff running on uh, lower settings. We're running 1080p quality FSR medium settings across the board, and I have just been targeted. I am going to die. This is the end of the... Yep, what did I tell you? You know, I took a, a break from it because I was just getting destroyed and I'm ready to get destroyed again. Sup? I almost died to that person. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have left Team Rumble. Maybe. Maybe I should have just known that, Matt, you're not made for the real game. You're just not built for Rumble Fortnite. Oh! Or you can just die. I mean. And I'm ready to get destroyed again. What does he have? He had, he had the bazooki. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this, this PC is okay. I would say the CPU is worth paying an extra money for the six core if you can, but on a budget for $300 or less, I think it's a pretty good buy. Let's go ahead and benchmark this thing in some really demanding titles and wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our Think Station, and overall, it is really good for just 300 bucks. If you can sacrifice having a full, custom, really pretty PC, which honestly, you're not really gonna be doing for 300 bucks anyways, then this is definitely a build for you to check out. Yeah, if you wanna buy this tower, the P520, definitely check the link down below and use our code TOSIBROS5 to save 5% on your next purchase of the PC. This isn't a sponsored video anyway, but they did give us a affiliate commission, 5% commission and 5% discount for you guys if you buy one of these PCs. So definitely check that link down below. Now, if you do have a a bit more money and you want to step up to something like the W2135, which is a six core 12 threaded processor, you most certainly can, or you can just buy the CPUs and upgrade this thing later down the line. This thing is a very versatile system that will last a very long time with a very good upgrade path. So yeah, check those links down below and let us know what you think of this 300R PC in the comment section. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So we actually have a few of these at PC Bros that are already upgraded, tested, benchmarks, and they're ready to go for a good price with a year warranty. PC Bros on tag, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. Use code TOSIBROS200 and check out your like 2% of your next purchase. And stay tuned, guys. These are here. They may be on the website. Not these, but something. I don't know. Just go to PC Bros. They might be Do there. It. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.